Welcome to our first video on the NV Quick Theme. Perhaps you've heard of NV Quick Theme. Perhaps you thought it was just another free and open source theme out there. Well, that is what it is, but it, that's really the starting point. Um, it's really a workflow, a development workflow, for you to create your own custom theme. The intent from the beginning was really not to provide just a theme for people to use for free, although that's great, the idea is that you would use this to create your own custom themes. You'll see on the screen here that I've got nvquicktheme.com. This is actually the theme that is baked right into the open source project, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. It's a great looking theme very clean. There's a few examples of how you can leverage some of the content that's out here. It's nice mobile responsive theme as well. You may notice that it has a nice split nav function for mobile experience to be a bit better. So when you're on desktop it's got the nice hover experience. But on desktop you actually have to click the down arrow to get the subs to show up. So it's great. Um, I'm going to jump right into where NV Quick Theme is located, how you may be able to find it, and use it. So I've got another tab open here that is on GitHub. So if you go to https colon slash slash github.com slash envisionative, that's N V I S I O N. A T I V E slash N V quick theme. That's where the code base is stored for N V quick theme. Now, when you're here, maybe you're familiar with GitHub. If so, great. If not, don't be overwhelmed by this. This is just a great platform for sharing code with other people. You can have open source projects which are publicly available for everybody to see. That's what NV Quick Theme is. Or you can have private repositories or projects for you to use internally in your business. But think of GitHub as a source control platform. So if you're a developer, you're developing code, you want to maintain versions of that code. Maybe you've used Visual Studio uh, team services in the past. This is similar to that, but it uses a Git, G-I-T, workflow. GitHub is one of several platforms that you can use for that. So I don't want you to be overwhelmed by what you're seeing here if you're not used to Git or GitHub. If you want to use Envy Quick Theme, out of the box. Just download the install package and use it on your site. You are more than welcome to do that. You will find that install package for DNN on the releases tab on GitHub here. So if we go to the releases tab, you'll see that we've got versions out here of it that you can access the install zip file. By clicking on that, you can actually install the zip or download it to be installed on any DNN instance. So that's great. That helps us understand a bit about GitHub and the very basic usage of MB Quick Theme. But what if you want to create your own theme? Well, what you're going to want to do at that point is to go to this link that's in the description on the GitHub page. This will take you to the documentation. We have the documentation. It's also hosted on GitHub and is actually a part of the open source code. So if you see things that you would like us to change about the code or anything like that, well, you can contribute and or let us know the changes that you would like to see by creating a new issue 
Well, I don't want to get too deep into that, but you're welcome to go to issues, click on new issue, and at that point you can put in a documentation change request, or a bug report, or a feature request, or just if you have a question, you don't understand something, or you need some help getting to a place, or finding something, then you can do it here. Now, let's go back over to the documentation. There's a lot of great background information as to why we created MV Quick Theme and what the benefits of that are to you. But let's say you want to get started and just start developing your own custom theme. You'll find the table of contents over here on the right. You're going to want to click on the installation. That will give you step by step everything that you need on your local workstation in order to develop a custom theme using the MB Quick Theme workflow. So first what you're going to need to do is you're going to want to clone the repository. Now that that's fancy speak for just copy the files from GitHub down to your local machine. Let's go and do that real quick. There are two ways that you can really start developing in me quickly. We've designed the workflow so that you can put it right inside of a DNN instance. So if you have DNN installed on your local machine, then you can go to the portals underscore default skins folder and clone the repository right there. Now when you clone this repository or you copy it down, it's going to put it into a subfolder under skins called NV Quick Thing. You can rename that folder and we'll go through that in future videos on how to actually set it up and get into some of the details for your own specific project. But that is one method that you can use. Put it right inside of a DNN instance installed on your local machine. The other way, you don't have to have a DNN instance. If you want to just get started in developing the theme, our process for NV Quick Theme allows you to build a package for your theme by just running a simple command. At that point, you can install the zip file or the install package right into a DNN instance, either on your machine locally or on a server or a staging site or a dev server. So there's a lot of options for that. But let's talk about cloning the repository. First, you're going to go back over to the GitHub. If you ever get lost, you know, and not know how to get back to the code, you can either quick the, click the MV Quick Theme link here or just the code link over here. They'll take you to the same place. That's kind of the home of the GitHub repository here. Well, notice this green button here, clone or download. Well, if you're new to GitHub, what you're going to probably want to do is click that and download the zip file. That's going to zip up every file that is in this repository and then you can put it inside of your local instance into your skins folder, or you can put it into a folder of your choosing if you're not going to develop inline within DNN. Now, if you are a Git user already and you understand GitHub and how to use some of the command line tools, you can go a lot faster by doing that. So I'm going to show that very quickly here. I've got Git bash is which is a program that is loaded up right in my windows environment it looks a lot like a command prompt now i have already put it into a directory that i want it you'll see i've got it here in c dev dnn themes mv quick theme videos 01 dash intro well that's where i'm at literally on my computer I am in this folder here. So you can see I've got C, Dev, DNN, Themes, MV Quick Theme Videos, 01 Intro. Well, let's go through the two methods very quickly here. We'll go back, 
For the novice on Git and GitHub, you'll want to click Download Zip. This will just give you a very uh, expected type of experience here of a window pop-up. You navigate to your folders. I'm going to go and actually put it in the same folder. And you'll notice it's just a zip file. That's the entire repository. Well, that is downloaded now and it's placed right in that folder. Okay. The other way, I'm going to go ahead and delete this because we're going to use the command line and I'll show you how to use that. You can use git bash if you've already installed git for Windows. Now, I want to pause for just a second. I don't want you to be thrown off by my screen here. <laughs> Some of you may have noticed that up at the top, I've got an Apple bar up here. And then at the bottom, I've got Windows. Well, I'm actually running Windows on OS X through Parallels virtualization software. Don't get thrown off by that. I'm doing everything here in a Windows environment. I'm not mixing the two environment other than just for the recording, you're going to see the Mac stuff up at the very top. But don't, don't worry about that. Just pretend like I am on a Windows machine. You can go out to um, the, you can do a Google search on Git for Windows and install that. It's a simple installation program. I think it's a MSI file. When you install that, you will get git bash. So if I wanted to start git bash, I could go to my start, type in git bash, and you will see that right there. Well, that's the window to look at it. So that's the background information. So let's say I wanted to clone that repository. Remember, that's what we're really trying to do here. I'm gonna go back to the GitHub window, and this guy right here, I'm gonna copy this. That is the git URL for the repository. So now I've copied that into my clipboard. I can cycle back over to my git bash window. And I am where, in this case, I'm not going to put it inside of a DNN instance. I'm just going to put it into this 01-intro folder and clone it so that you can see how that works. I'm going to run the command git clone. And then I'm going to paste that URL that I just copied. Well, I thought I just copied it. Let's go back and make sure we didn't copy. I'm going to control C. And then I will control V here. Oh, that is so weird. Okay, let me try it with a right click paste. All right, there we go. Um, evidently, Git Bash doesn't like that. You can also, by the way, use Command Prompt or PowerShell for this if you configure it for Git. I like to use Git Bash because it color codes things. Um, but that's, that's really the only reason that I do that. Now, I'm going to execute that command. And what you're going to see is it's actually copying down the entire repository from GitHub. That was fast, right? Well, is it there? Well, I could do a couple of things. I can list out the files here. Notice I've got now an MV Quick theme folder there. So let's change directory into that folder. Now, let's list out all the files. Oh, that looks a lot like what I saw when I was on GitHub. Over here. Yep. Those are the same files. Let's go into our Windows Explorer. Take a look in there. Oh, there's the MV Quick theme folder. And there's all the folders that match the GitHub repository. So that was really fast, right? So I would urge you to go ahead and learn some Git commands because it'll just make your workflow a whole lot faster. All right, now I'm trying not to make this video too long, but I want to give a good foundation for getting started with MB Quick Theme. So what we've done so far is we've experienced the demo site, we have found the GitHub repository, learned where the releases are if we just want to install the package on some DNN instance and use it, We've also talked about issues, letting people, letting others know about documentation change requests or feature requests or bug reports or where to ask questions. Well, this all happens on GitHub, right? We've also talked about the documentation that you can get to, that you get to from the description at the GitHub repository.
this link takes you to the documentation and we talked about the background information on the home page here and the installation page which tells you everything you need to know in order to get it started all right so now we have actually cloned our repository we talked about the two different ways of doing that downloading the zip file from the github repository by clicking clone or download and clicking download zip we talked about running git clone and then this url in our git bash window to clone the repository local all right there's a couple of other methods too and i'll just quickly mention them if you have github for windows installed you can open it in your desktop github for windows app now what this does is this kind of a medium ground right it is instead of using the command line you've got a user interface that helps you do git commands some of you might like that a lot you can also open it in visual studio okay so now what else do we need in order to get started well i mean i could just start working with these files right i've got them on my desktop i can open this in an editor of my choice which i like visual studio code it's really powerful it's great i could do that but i want to understand what MV Quick thing gives me it's not just a way to copy files down locally it's a way to work with files and to build it's a workflow all right so we're going to need some other tools let's go back to the documentation at this point we're on the installation page notice the next section here is to install node you may be going oh my gosh i've heard that but i don't know what it is I don't have time to learn that. Okay, don't worry. Don't panic. Just click on this link here. It's going to open up a window to take you to the nodejs.org website. All right? From here, all you need to do, you don't really need to understand all this. I mean, honestly, this is really a server. Okay? It's a local server to help you do things with Node you don't have to quite understand it yet just jump in with blind faith at this point that's what i'm asking you to do what you're going to want to do is if you're on whatever operating system you're on when you visit this page which in my case i'm on windows it's going to show me the windows options if you're on mac you can do all this on mac as well we'll have some videos in the future to show how to uh, do this on mac as well i do a lot of my development on mac I don't really care to have a local DNN instance on my theme development anymore. So I just run everything on my Mac. But for the case of this, I want to show all this. All right. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click the one that says LTS. This is the latest stable release of Node.js. So when I click this, it will allow me to download this MSI file, which is a Windows installer package. All you gotta do is run that installer package. Then you've got Node installed. Mission accomplished. I've already got it installed on this machine, so I'm not gonna run the installer again. But it is very straightforward and very self-explanatory. Okay? If you get stuck on something, don't hesitate to ask. I'll be glad to help you. Okay? Now, we've got Node installed. Let's go back to the documentation. What's next? yarn oh my what's that i thought that's what my kitty cat plays with <laughs> now yarn you may have heard of npm node package manager well node package manager gets installed with node big surprise there right yarn is really just a more it's another type of package manager that's all it is Today we're using Yarn for this stuff because it's the latest and greatest. But this stuff changes like the wind. Probably in the future, this we're going to switch this back over when NPM releases version 3. We'll probably switch back to NPM and use that for package management. What this does is it manages all of our local dependencies. There's a lot of things in MV Quick Theme that is leveraging other solutions 
that are open source out there that allows us to do things more efficiently, okay? So on this one, again, don't panic. You, you're going to run one command with this, and you're done with it. Everything is behind the scenes for Node and Yarn, okay? So you're going to click on this link. It's going to take you to the Yarn installation page. Again, it's going to detect your platform. In my case, it's Windows. You're going to want to select, and it's going to pre-select this for you, the latest stable release. From there, you click the download installer button. All right. It's another MSI file. It's a Windows installer package. Just run the install. It's very self-explanatory. I've already got it installed on this machine, but it's very simple and intuitive. If you do get stumped, just ask. Be glad to help. Okay. Now, we've got Node.js installed on our machine. We've got Yarn installed on our machine. We're ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll. Oh, but wait, David, it says install Gulp. What the heck is Gulp? That's what I do when I drink a soft drink, right? <laughs> well, Gulp is the primary automation tool or, you know, it, it's, it's the way that we process common tasks very quickly through the command line. Right, so all this means is open up your, you can actually open up your command prompt for this one if you'd like. I'll open that up. You're going to use NPM actually, <laughs> remember we talked about that just a few minutes ago, Node Package Manager to install Gulp. The dash G here installs it globally on your machine. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that you don't have to install Gulp every single time that you want to set up a new project. So you want to install Gulp globally on your machine. So you can copy this command. All right. Control C. Open up your command prompt. It doesn't matter what directory you're in as long as you have Node installed. All right. You paste that command in and you run it. It's going to install Gulp globally. On the machine it's going to pull a bunch of stuff it's going to download a bunch of stuff and it'll tell you when it gets finished it's easy straightforward once you run that command now i'm not going to run it because i've already got gulp running on here um, and installed globally but that's all you have to do at that point you're ready to go this last task here for install dependencies, well, this is about your individual project or, or this new project that you just set up, all right? What I mean by that is in, we just copied this down to the 01-intro folder on my machine. We're now ready to, to work with this. We just cloned the repository to that directory. Now we're ready to run Yarn and install our dependencies for this project. We're not doing anything globally here. We're just working in this directory at this point, all right? So let's do that. I'm going to cycle over to my git bash window. I'm already in the correct directory. So now I am going to run yarn, and that's it. You could also run yarn install, and it would do the same thing but they do a shortcut here so yarn is really fast to use yarn i'm going to hit enter now you're going to see it doing a lot of things i'm not going to go into a lot of detail about what it's doing here and why and how and all of that at this point i want you to jump in with blind faith and just run it now as this is running i'm going to pull up my windows explorer here You'll notice, if you paid attention before, whenever, and it just got done, by the way. It's already done a bunch of stuff. It's downloaded a bunch of things, and it's put it in there. And it's saying it is done in 26.33 seconds. All right? But what you'll notice is there's now a new folder. It's called node underscore modules. Now, that is where all of these packages that our project is dependent on 
those get managed automatically by Node. All right, and Yarn. Yarn is what we use to add new packages, remove packages, or just get them installed from the beginning. All right, so at this point, we're ready to go. I'm going to, there's a couple of things you can do. All right, you can, if you've got Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code loaded on your machine, which I highly recommend that editor, unless you like to use another editor, you can do that. But I can right click on this folder and open with code. All right, that's one way that I can open this up and it'll open this entire folder in Visual Studio Code for me so that I can start working with it. That's one way. I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so it is opening Visual Studio Code and voila, there is our project, all right? The other way that that would work is, and I'm gonna close Visual Studio Code now, is right from my Git Bash window, I could run code dot, all right? And that can also open the current folder that I'm in, you know, within that directory structure right there, it'll open Visual Studio Code for me. That's a nice little secret because once you get used to running all this command line stuff, you're gonna wanna do things quicker. So that's a quick way to do that. All right, so at this point, I can see all the files that I need. Well, what now, David? Okay, I've got everything set up. Well, that was just all the work to really kind of get one project started. It wasn't that much. I know this took a little while, but I really wanted to take the time and explain the best I could without going into too much detail about all of that, okay? But let's get back to that yarn command because I want you to understand a bit more about this. In MVQuick thing, there is this file called package.json. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here on the screen so that you can see it. These are all the dependencies and dev dependencies that we use in the MVQuick theme project to either make the site look good, which in this case we're using Bootstrap 4.1.3 at the time of this recording, and Font Awesome 4.7.0 at the time of this recording, all right? And normalized CSS. These are the only things that are really going to matter in the end as far as the theme goes. Everything else is our developer dependencies. This is while we're developing, that's the dev dependencies. We're going to be using Gulp and a lot of Gulp task automation type plugins, if you will, to do different things. Like for instance, there's Gulp dash image man here. Well, that is a nice, processor to minimize your images and optimize them for the web. So if you're going to be putting images inside of your theme to use for the graphics or the background images or stuff like that, then this will automatically process your images. So when you go through this, don't, don't be too alarmed by all this if it's new to you. This is cool stuff. This just going to help you do things in a more efficient way as a developer. You can focus on doing the things that you're great at and not worry too much about things that are repeatable common tasks like minimizing images. Who wants to open up each individual image in Photoshop and optimize those images? Not me. So we're gonna use this plugin, Gulp Image Men, to do that. That's just one of many examples in here of things that we're, we're using to automate our tooling. All right, David, shut up, and let's actually build this project just to prove that it works, all right? So, let's look at the directory structure a bit here. There's some folders that get shown in here. You'll notice the node modules is grayed out a little bit because that's not something that is tracked by GitHub, okay? What I mean by that is if you, well, I don't want to go into that detail too much, but it just means that it's not, those aren't, those are dependencies. They're not part of our custom code. It's just tools that we're using, right? But you'll notice there is no build folder here. So let's go back to the documentation here real quick. And let's go over to the commands. I'm skipping the project setup for now because we're just working with the base NVQuick thing, okay? 
The main dev commands here are gulp manifest, gulp build, gulp watch, and gulp package. Only four commands that you need to learn, okay? The other ones are more granular. You very rarely use them, if ever at all. Gulp manifest, well, you could probably guess it. That's going to update your DNN manifest file for you. Well, what is it going to update it with, David? We'll get into that in a later video, but that has to do with the project setup, which is very easy. You're going to love this. All right. The second command is gulp build. That just builds all of your JavaScript and compiles your SAS. All right. You may be saying, oh my gosh, SAS, I've heard of that. Well, I know CSS, but I don't know SAS. I, don't, I never took the time to learn that. Don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. Just know that that command builds it, all right? This command, gulp watch, is something that watches all your, your file changes automatically and updates them if something changes. It compiles stuff automatically for you as you change the file. So you can run Gulp Watch and just work on your project and you don't have to worry about saving and building and stuff like that. It automatically does all that. Now, the one that we're interested in right now is Gulp Package. What this does, it actually does a Gulp build and it puts the install package into the build folder. Okay, so wherever your project is, is what the root is, in our case, our root is the MB Quick Theme folder under 0 to 1 intro, right? So this is our root at this point. So it's going to put a build folder in there and it's going to drop a zip file in there that actually is a theme installation package. Well, let's see it happen. So I'm going to open up my Git Bash window. I had cleared this out, so now I'm going to run Gulp package. Let's see the magic. So it's doing quite a bit here, but you'll see it's automating a lot of tasks for us. Okay. It's saying what file it's using, which is our gulp file.js. That's a standard in all gulp based build processes. It's starting the package command. It's starting the SAS command, the bootstrap SAS command. I won't go into all these details. It's ultimately notifying us that the manifest was updated successfully. The containers were updated. The styles were compiled. The JavaScript was compiled. The, oh my gosh, all kinds of stuff, right? It's run the build command. It's created zip files. Okay, ultimately, what would we say? We said it was going to put a zip file, an installation zip file, into our build directory. Let's see if it's there. Now there should be a build directory. There it is. Build directory and voila, there is our install package. Now this is building the MV Quick theme as it is after you clone it from the repository. So it is the theme that you see on nvquicktheme.com. So now that should give you the foundation of everything that you need in order to get started and understanding the tools that you need in order to start developing your own custom themes with nvquicktheme. We're going to make some videos on very specific things and I promise the future ones will be quite shorter. But again, I wanted to give you a good foundation to understand everything that you need in order to get started. A quick recap. This is mbquicktheme.com. This is where it all started. starts. This is the demo of the theme that you get with the code as it is if you built that package and started using it. GitHub.com slash envisionative slash NV quick theme is the location where all the code is. The open source project is here. You can tell us about issues or ask questions or submit documentation change requests 
by going to the Issues tab and clicking New Issue. You can submit a bug report, a documentation change request, a feature request, or just ask questions to get help. Back on the page here, you can also access the documentation, either through the description, clicking the link here, or down in the readme, and I didn't cover this earlier, but you can also get to it right here with the documentation link. That's going to send you to the documentation site. The home page of the documentation has all of the background information on what caused us to create this tool and what benefits you get from using it. The installation tab is going to tell you how to clone the repository as well as what tools you need to install the very first time that you want to get started using MB Quick Theme. It's Node, Yarn, both of those are just simple installs from their respective websites, and then a simple NPM, which is Node Package Manager command to install Gulp globally on your machine. Again, these three here install node, install yarn, and install gulp. Those only have to be done once per environment that you get ready to start developing on. So in your Windows, on your one machine there, you'll only have to do this once for these three things. Then every future time that you want to set up a new custom theme, you will not have to go through those steps again because you already have them installed on your machine and globally with Gulp. Lastly, Yarn or Yarn Install installs the dependencies for each individual custom theme project that you want to set up. Using Visual Studio Code, you can open up all of the files, look through them, edit them, so forth. You can run the gulp package command in your git bash window in the terminal window through code visual studio code by doing new terminal or in your command prompt or powershell if powershell is set up for git that concludes this let me know your thoughts let me know if I didn't describe something well enough for you. Let me know if you get stuck with something. We're happy to help. Thank you, and I hope this helps demystify some of the things that may be keeping you from using Envy Quick Theme.